those were some examples of establishing shots. Let's talk about how we can use them in manga. No harm was done to anyone in the shooting of this video. The sheep is okay. My gelato is seriously so good. The establishing shot is a term mostly used in cinematography, but it definitely applies to comics and manga too. It is the opening shot of your story or a scene, which usually shows the setting. It can even be applied to books if you describe the place where the scene is taking place first, before anything happens. In comics or manga, usually the establishing shot is just like one bigger, longer panel at the top third of the page, but it can also have multiple panels and some smaller panels with close-ups of things or people. This way the reader already has an idea where and when the scene is taking place. Is it the medieval or a futuristic city? Is it the countryside, the mountains? Is it day or night? Or is the whole scene taking place in the room and the outsides don't matter at all? The establishing shot is not only there to show the setting, but it's also there to set the mood. That's why they are often the most cinematic panels in your story. These panels usually do take a lot of effort, but they are definitely worth it as they pull the reader right into the world of your story. Make them feel the wind or the crispy cold air or make them hear the sounds of the city. Make them smell the coffee or make them uncomfortable by showing a super messy kitchen, for example. By already creating a certain mood, it will be much easier to evoke certain emotions within your reader with everything that comes afterwards. So the establishing shot is not just there to show off your amazing skill for drawing background, but it also has some value from a storytelling point of view. And maybe if it still looks like too much work to you, consider this. After drawing one or two detailed shots, afterwards you can only include a couple of details in the background, but the reader already knows what the place looks like, so they kind of piece the rest together. You might be restrained by the number of pages anyway, so one or two establishing shots will have to do. But if you have more space, you might consider drawing multiple panels showing different details and different angles from the scene, giving the reader the chance to soak it all in. You can also draw certain parts more vague or more detailed to establish a sense of space and also give the reader something to focus on. Not every scene has to start with an establishing shot though. You can show one or more characters in a close-up and after a couple of panels you reveal where this character is. This for example might have an effect of disorientation. In the manga Another Me, for example, I start by having a close-up of the character and she doesn't know where she is. She only sees the very close surroundings to her and that's it. And that's what I have been showing. And then, once this scene ends, which is only two pages, the next scene, there is a big full page establishing shot. So we can have a sense of where the story is taking place. So first of all, you know that the scene is changing and also you know that the place is changing. You can also use the establishing shot to show the passage of time. Another clever way of using the establishing shot is to use it as a cover for the chapter at the same time, as I did with chapter one of Another Me. And sometimes it's better not to have an establishing shot at all. Let's say your last chapter ended with a cliffhanger and in the next chapter you want to pick off right where you left. It would make no sense to have establishing shots here. Those might actually just ruin the tension. So it all depends on what you want to convey. When drawing an establishing shot, think of things like like the camera angle or the depths of the picture. What elements are grabbing the attention first and what second? Is it contained within the panel frame or does it bleed out to the edges of the page? Does it have any speech balloons in it? While having no text in a panel kind of captures it in the moment, so this panel is not really bound to time. But as soon as you have text in a panel, then the reader of course continues reading and might pay a little bit less attention to the background. So establishing shots with speech in them do have a different effect than establishing shots with no sounds or just some sound effects, like the howling of the wind, for example. Also make sure not to pack too much information into one panel. It's 
completely fine to have a really detailed establishing shot of, let's say, a city. But make sure there are not too many things happening. For example, in this corner you have someone running and screaming something and then in this corner someone is shooting somebody else and in this corner you have a building that looks pretty important. An establishing shot is not a Where is Waldo page. And this is kind of it, like that's all that I can say about the establishing shot. I guess this month's video is a little bit shorter, huh? <laughs> Most of the information I have in this video is like comes from, well, first personal experience from just reading manga and comics in general and also from uh, making comics by Scott McCloud. This is like the bible for comic artists. So if you still haven't read it, like I highly recommend it. I think most people who do draw manga and comics have read it already. So thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then you can follow me on my social media like Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. And you can also read my manga and other me online for free. Or you can purchase a printed copy. All the links will be in the description box below. Also, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye!